it's Jamie here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you this Valentine's Day design. So I'm starting off by applying blush. It's actually the red star blends and that just brightens up her face. And here I'm using this only this one cake for this design. It's the Fleur Cake by Paradise. And I have a quarter inch flat brush and I'm placing the brush, dragging it down, pulling to widen and then pulling it up and then pulling it back down. And then I flip the brush over so that the light pink meets up with the light pink and I'm just echoing that line back across. This is a fun headband you can use in any color. You can try some different designs with it. Okay, using that same brush loaded with the um, red and pink again from the Fleur Cake, I touched down just the very outer edge of her eyelashes and I brought that up keeping the pink inside and did some wiggly uh, flower petal shapes and then I flipped it over so that the light pink was on the outside and did the same and then I flipped it back over again so now the red was on the outside and dragging it down over the cheek and here the paint is still slightly wet and I used a very soft filbert brush to just to pull the paint over um, the eyelid into the corner of the eye here I'm using that same process with the Fleur Cake red and pink only, pulling up with the red on the outside and then the pink on the outside and the red again. Here I'm using a light pink glitter, cosmetic glitter, and just applying that into the pink areas where it's still wet. So, and here I'm using that same quarter inch brush with the pink um, downward and just tap, tap, tapping in an arc to create um, a little fan shape and then adding some taps here and there above and below the, the flower pattern. Now some kids do not like this and younger kids definitely, but um, my daughter doesn't mind. So you just add a little color underneath the eye. I think it looks great. Um, here I have a number four round loaded with white and I'm just placing and pulling to a tip and then pulling to a tip back to create little hearts. The paint is um, thick. I went ahead and sprayed the cake with water and let it um, get to a nice almost toothpaste consistency before making these hearts on top of the red. And um, adding some dots here and there. You can see a little bit of paint got in her hair and I would just, you know, wipe you to the rescue. Okay, here we have three teardrops on either side and some dots of various sizes underneath the eye there. And then I'm going ahead and putting some smaller hearts. Three white hearts coming down the cheek. And this is a number two round brush, just adding a couple of smaller teardrops and some wispy little curls, like the hearts are kind of spilling out of this floral design around the eye. And some smaller dots um, on the lower half of the headband. Special thanks to my model, my daughter. Decided to add a smaller heart there and a little dot in the center of the nose. And some more dots around that larger one there. And now this is a trick that if you forgot your Q-tips, just grab a wipey, rip off a little piece of it maybe, and go right into the paint and you can apply the lipstick like that. This is a fun adhesive heart that I found and some smaller iridescent ones here and there. And it just makes for a quick, high impact design. You could do it in any number of colors. And I think it comes out great. Have a great Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching, guys.